Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a Summer Stripes tumbler. And so we're gonna be starting with the Stainless Steel Depot Skinny Tumbler. I will leave a link below. Um, it is silver, I spray painted it white. And I had started to go in with electrical tape, you guys. You can see it in the background. And I decided that that was just gonna to be too many stripes and I wasn't willing to do 12 stripes. And so I'm gonna go in with masking tape instead. And unfortunately, during the process of me savagely ripping off the electrical tape, I pulled up some of the spray paint. And like, truth be told, like, I barely had any spray paint to spray this. <laughs> and like, I, true enough, I probably could have just used like a light pink or something and it probably wouldn't have hurt the cup too much. But yeah, I just didn't. And I probably should have, when I, I did go and buy more spray paint, so I should have like gone back and did like another coat, especially after I ripped it off. But y'all, I was ready to move on in life. But I'll show y'all what I do to kind of help with some of that color correction um, underneath the glitter. So yeah, I'm not going to show you this. It's just laying tape. Just make sure that the top of the next stripe meets the bottom of the other stripe. You don't want to leave any spaces. So there's, there's nothing, nothing fancy to that. And so I already told y'all these were going to be my colors of the summer. <laughs> y'all was getting tutorials out the wazoo with these. This might be my last one with this though. And so that's Nerds. These are all iridescent fine glitters that are available on period6glitter.com. That is Flamingo. Pretty Bold Pink. Honey Mustard. Exactly how it sounds. And then Peachy Keen, which is a peach color. You ever think about the fact that peaches are like yellow also? Anyways. Um, and so because of, I did them all, all the stripes together and there was like this extra space left on the bottom that was really in like a half stripe. So what I decided to do was I'm going to combine that just with the bottom stripe and I'm going to do a bigger chunk of that glitter on the bottom. And so what I like to do is go in and label the tape so I know which ones to pull off because you'll accidentally pull the wrong one and end up your glitter ain't gonna be off then you gotta improvise. It'll still be cute cause you can't really mess up with glitter. But just to make it easier, this is how I like to do it. And so that's me taking off that bottom piece and then I'm gonna take off this other one as well and I'm just gonna combine those sections. Um, and so when I do stripes, I like to do, and like same with like swirls and stuff too lightest to darkest so i'm gonna start with honey mustard and then work my way down to uh nerds so yeah and so like i told you guys i was real pressed on using these colors on the tumbler and i'm like yeah i'm gonna do it but just how like i'm like swirl ombre i didn't really know and i'm like yep stripes the stripes are in right now, so I'm gonna do stripes. And plus, I've really been trying to like challenge myself as far as like designs, cause like, if y'all know me, you know I'm like a five color swirl girl. I'm a two color ombre kind of girl. And like, I can live in that world and be just as happy. Like, I don't need V stripes. I don't need peekaboos. I don't need any of that. Like, two color ombre and that's it but I'm like you guys y'all don't want to see two color like y'all don't want to see 80 two color ombre videos a year like that's boring and so yeah so I'm like let me let me do something different for the channel and I'm not telling y'all what's going on so what I like to do in these kind of situations that is just white acrylic paint and so I put it on a little heavy on this stripe um but yeah and so I'm just trying to balance out to make sure because you can see, especially with the lighter colors, if I was doing like midnight blue, this wouldn't have been an issue at all. But because the color is so light and it's so iridescent, I really needed that white base to make it pop. And so I'm just going in with acrylic paint and rebalancing it. And so like on the other ones, because I put this one on like too white, um, is that like, what I like to do is I like to just, I like to press it in. If this makes any sense, I like to just press it in and then I'm just going to hit it with the heat gun so I can go and do my next layer. But I like to press it in until like it dries immediately. If that makes any sense, like I don't give it, I don't put it on so thick that it needs time to dry. Like I'm using my finger and I'm dabbing it on the cup in a manner that is drying like very quickly. That way I can go ahead and continue what I'm doing. So yeah, and so I did two layers of each. And so what I like to do for stripes is that 
I will hit it with the heat gun between layers one and two for like five seconds. You don't want it to dry so much to the point that when you pull your tape up, it's going to pull the glitter with it, even though I did do that on some of them and that's my own fault, just full disclosure. But you can do it in a way where like you hit it really quickly and you can do your second layer and you kind of get that glue that'll seep into that second layer, still making it pretty easy to pull off uh, the tape without pulling up the glitter with it. So yeah, and I did that for, like I said, for each stripe. And so I'm just gonna repeat the process that you saw me doing. And the next lightest color, of course, is Peachy Keen. So we will do that one next. And I'm using just the Glossy Mod Podge. And these brushes are from Michaels. I will leave links to everything below. So yeah. And when you start getting to a point where you don't have tape, just make sure you're being very careful. That's why I like to use a paintbrush with a straight edge, like a really straight edge, like the one you see me using. Um, because it just makes it easier to run right up against that other glitter. Um, to lay down your glue it just makes it so much more easier instead of using something that's like kind of rounded and having to like maneuver your brush and stuff if you have like these brushes it makes it so much more easier so yeah I actually made this cup for someone else but then like after I made it I was like oh I need one of these for myself <laughs> so I probably will end up making myself I might not do a skinny I might just do a different cup but yeah this is me just really quick you see how quick I'm hitting it with the heat gun so I can do that second layer of glitter um, at the same time before I move on and pull off the next set of tape. And so like it don't, the, the glue doesn't have to, or the glitter doesn't have to be bone dry when you do like the heat gun and then like the next layer. Um, you just want to, you just, all you want to happen is that when you do lay the glue down that it doesn't move the glitter. And so sorry, I know I know I talked about this in the last video, but like I'm trying to get better about looking up in my uh, like little screen that's on my camera to see that I am in the frame. So uh, yeah, I'm sorry that like you can't really see like the whole Tumblr right now. I'm trying to get better, but y'all know when you get in your crafting mode, you don't be pressed on like looking up. And I know I realize that I'm filming this and I should be doing those things, but. Forgive me for that. Have a little grace with me, please. And thank you. Appreciate it. All right. And that's how everything looks. I didn't want to bore you guys to death showing y'all the other two colors. But believe me, this, this, the same thing happened with the first two colors. Um, so, yeah, I'm just taking a brush and just knocking off that extra glitter. Because I don't, when it's still drying, I don't touch it. If it moves into another area, I don't touch it. I know it's going to wipe off. I'm not, I don't even worry about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so... Just doing another little wipe, got it on the spinner. Um, I'm actually about to go in with Counterculture DIY Quick Coat. I tell you guys about this all the time. Completely optional step, but it helps seal the glitter. And so if you didn't have this, just use clear spray paint. It's the same effect. Um, even though I feel like with when using spray paint, I don't necessarily get like the flatness that Quick Coat brings to a project um but yeah and so i'm just doing this again lightest color to darkest color to make sure we don't have any mixing and mingling of the colors too much and i do wipe my brush on the paper towel between colors you can't see me doing my paper towel is a little closer to me and not in frame but i do do that just fyi no need to rinse it just wipe it off on paper towel and it's that easy. And what I like to do is I like to like do like drop, drop, and then like drag my brush, drop, drop, drag my brush. And that's how I don't use a bunch of product, but I still get, you know, the benefits of it. And plus you don't want to saturate it with this because it's not that kind of product anyway. So yeah, don't do that. It's funny. Cause I'd be like, sometimes, especially on camera, you'd be like, girl, that do not look good. Like, why would I make this? And so that is 15 mils of each side, 30 mils total of Countercultures DIY's artist resin. But yeah, like y'all ever like be working on a pro project and you'd be like, this looks like 
pure crap. I kind of felt like that about this. And I'm like, I don't know, like, what happened? Because, like, I was very satisfied with the stripes after I glittered. But then, like, after I put the quick coat on and I'm like, hmm. Because, like, I'm the type of person, like, I will strip this whole cup. And I will start from square one and I won't really care. But after I did the first layer of epoxy and I started to lay the stripes, I was feeling much more confident about it. So I say all that to say, don't necessarily give up right away. See your project through unless you just know for a fact that it's just not going to work out. Like y'all seen like, that's why I like to put my blunders in the videos because I don't want anyone out here thinking like everything is, is gold over here because I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be like, I mess up on every project, but like there's steps in probably every project that like I fumble on and I'm like not 100% on all the time and I mess up and that's okay. And that happens. Like you just have to know what's your plan t to fix it. Like even like when I was epoxy, like before I epoxy this, I'm like, all right, well, I don't know if I like this so far. So what is going to be my plan to fix it at each step? Like if I don't epoxy it, I can just exacto knife it and fix it. If I do epoxy it, I can still exacto knife it and strip it. So, and I hit it with the heat gun for a couple of revolutions. So yeah, so just, you know, as you're building your business and everything, just remember those things. All right, so I made some stripes. And so that is Tech Wrap's yellow peach vinyl. Um, and so again, I knew, and that's why I wasn't really uber pressed on my lines being the crispest and cleanest because I knew I was going to come back in and cover them up with the vinyl. And so, yeah, I be on the struggle bus when it comes to stuff like this. And I will say, um, you're only going to see me do two stripes because for me, it is easier for me to hold the cup upright and to put the stripes on because I feel like when I'm holding it horizontal like this, my line gets a little wiggly wobbly. Whereas if I'm holding it upright, I have like a clear eye view of the straightness of my line. Whereas when you have it flipped over on its side, I feel like you don't get that same effect. So that's just a little tip from me to you. If you're going to do stripes again, that's what works for me. Do of course what works best for you. But for me, girl, I got to stand the cup up because like, that's the only way it's going to work. And like, I'm half blind as it is. So, oh, and how I cut the stripes is that I just put the vinyl on the mat and I just made like a box and then put quarter inch lines, lines a quarter inch apart in the box. Um, and I'll show y'all where I messed that up too, because it wouldn't be a period six design tutorial without Monica messing something up as you know, we always do here. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I do recommend like using implements or tools when you're doing these stripes because I wear nails and so it's very hard for me to stab the vinyl and then leave like a weird like punch mark in it. So like that's why you see me using like my weeding tool and tweezers and stuff like that. Um, just a little tip because this vinyl is not the cheapest. So <laughs> yeah. And so once I stood the cup up and got all of them on, that is what we are working with. As you can see right there, I have gaps. What happened, Monica? As always, I forget that this skinny tumbler is tapered. Stainless Steel Depot did just come out with one that is not tapered. Um, but yeah, it's tapered. And of course, I measured around the bottom of the cup instead of the top of the cup. And so that's why I have gaps at the top of the cup. And so I just needed to cut them longer. So always measure twice, cut once, not measure once, and then go with the wind like I do. <laughs> and so I'm like, it's cool. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to use the name to cover up the gaps the best I can. So that's what I ended up doing. I cut the name out of the same vinyl. So yeah. And so like with stripes... It's very tricky to figure out like where you want the name, how you want it to look because you have stripes. So it's like, do I cut like around all of the stripes or like, I don't know. It's just very weird. And so I decided that I was only going to cut the stripes where I thought it like interfered with my reading of the name. And that was pretty much just on the end. And so I just used an X-Acto knife and this is just a Dollar Tree one that I finally got to work. Thank you to whoever left that comment. Um, because I couldn't figure it out for the life of me, but yeah, um, once I figured it out, I was rocking and rolling. So that is what we're working with. As you can see, I really only got rid of 
the stripe that was interfering with the letter N because I just didn't want it to look like a big blob and look like an O. Um, so yeah, so that's what it looks like. At this point, I was I was pretty happy, but I'm like, hmm, the Megan is a little hard to read. And so I lined it in white vinyl. And so how you do that, and if y'all need a video on that, let me know. Um, but how you do that is pretty much, I went back in, I saw the file and I saved her name. Um, and I just did offset. And then once I offset it, I let it, I cut it, and then instead of taking like the inside offset, which is what you normally use a lot of the times, I took the outside of the offset, and then I lined the name like that. And I, that probably doesn't make any sense unless you're someone who has done this before, and like, you're like, oh yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Before my more beginner folk, let me know if y'all need me to like do like a quick video or something somewhere. Or I can probably just find a video doing this. Even though I don't know if I've ever seen a video doing this. I'd be messing up so much to the point y'all. It just works out for me. Uh, as embarrassing as that is to, to say. Um, because initially I did want the inside offset. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to do like fill it more in with white and kind of let that yellow peach peep through. And then I was like, ooh, I don't know. Like even like before I even attempted to put it on the letters. I'm like, oh, no, I don't like that. I'm gonna go with the outline. So again, we're not perfect over here. We'd be messing up girl, but we make it work and we turn it into something beautiful because like, what is, what is life? If that is not the definition of life, like taking what we got in our trash ass country <laughs> and making the best of it. So yeah. And when I epoxy, especially once I put the vinyl on, I make it a point to make sure that before I walk away, that my name is bubbleless, And so I don't want any kind of bubbles or micro bubbles or anything in the name because like that's the part like the person's gonna focus on like, oh my goodness, my name's on this cup. So yeah, and so once you spin it, this is what you get. So I'm more than satisfied with this cup. I hope Megan loves it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think below. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We would love for you to join the Period 6 Designs family. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Period 6 Designs. You can also follow me over on TikTok with the young kids at Period 6 Glitter. Check out our website, period6glitter.com, and I will see you guys in the next one.